Hi, so this video is all about journaling and scripting and how to manifest your dream life using your journals. If you are a total beginner, this video is going to be perfect for you because I'm going to be going through step by step everything you need to do before, during and after. So you're going to script a moment in your life that you would like to manifest. Whatever it is, you are going to script it like a movie scene, like it's already happened to you at some point in your life. You are now writing about how you feel and how grateful you are, and you need to believe that you already have it, and that's why you're writing about it. Your journal needs to increase your vibrational energy. These journals were actually gifted to me and I love them and I just, I didn't have a reason to use them for so long and now I finally do. These are my pens. They are not fancy or they're not outrageous, like they're not like a flamingo pen or something. I like them because they're neat when you write with them, so the ink when it goes onto the paper, I just feel like it always looks better with these pens. But you need to find whatever journal and pen makes you happy. So before you actually start to journal, it's so important that you pick a space that is quiet, it's uninterrupted, do you feel kind of calm in the space? I know that's not possible for everyone, but it's if you can, it's the best way to do it. The thing is, it is actually really important to be kind of in a quiet space because you want to actually follow the flow of your writing. Whereas if you keep getting interrupted, your flow gets broken. And if, you know, the flow of your writing is broken, it's harder to kind of concentrate, making the things you write down a bit wishy-washy and the manifestations uh, less likely to come true. I make sure that I am in a high vibration. I don't know, sick of hearing me say it, but you need to feel good before you actually sit down and like, start scripting. What I do in the morning is I do my breathing exercises, I do my visualization, I do some meditation, I go for a walk, I do exercise. I don't do all of those things every single morning, but I do whatever it takes to get me kind of in a good mindset and a high vibration before I start to script or try to manifest things. I do this anyway when I'm writing. I like candles, I have my salt lamp, I have my coffee, and maybe have some snacks. Then I sit down and start to write because I want to create an environment that increases my energy and all of these things increase my energy. Thank you. So as you can see here, I have two journals. I have a big one and a small one. My small one is only a recent thing I've started to do where I actually take this with me everywhere. And throughout the day, if I have a random inspired thought, I will actually just write it down. So I just think it's like some scenario that I try to create into my life. And then I write it down in a basic format in here. And then the next day I'll read back over it and then I'll write it in here in a scripted form. You will be surprised the amount of inspired thought you have in a day that you just don't even recognize or pay attention to because you're not here writing it down or trying to manifest anything, whereas now you are. So that's my little one. This is not a necessity. I only started doing it recently because I kept thinking of things and forgetting about it. It could just be me being forgetful and you probably don't need something like this where I personally do. The next step is to actually journal. Before I start any journal or any um, scripting session, I like to write a title. Um, I like to usually write, I am grateful for, and then the general theme of what I'm talking about, I'll write something like, I am grateful for my dream home. I am grateful for this cup of coffee, whatever it is. I am grateful for a successful YouTube video. So we start at the top, we say, I am grateful for a successful YouTube video. And then it's just all about like giving gratitude for the thing you already have, even though you don't have it yet. While you are doing these journals, you are going to continuously write I am grateful for and then give the scenario that you are grateful for. So I am grateful that I created a YouTube video that is interesting and engaging. So yeah, I would just say that over and over again, all on this page and then probably this next page as well. And I would go into more depth of this situation because you want to be very specific. So I would talk about what the video was about. I would talk about what I did to make the video. I would talk about uh, the success on the channel. So grateful for these people who have took the time out of their day to come to my channel and watch this video, which by the way, thank you. I am grateful for that. I'm grateful for new subscribers if you want to subscribe. Sorry, I have to do it. Just prime moment. 
But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's that's basically what you're going to do. You're just going to keep writing until your page is completely full of I am grateful for. You can write a short thing or you can write something really, really long. It really just depends on you in that moment. You know, you don't want to go into negative vibration by forcing yourself to write more. So only write enough to make you happy. So once you stop feeling happy or stop feeling like, oh, like don't keep writing. I am grateful for the universe for bringing this into my life. Or I am grateful to the universe for creating these opportunities that have then created success in my life. Don't forget to go back over other things as well to read them again and just increase your vibration. They're nearly like little um, affirmations for yourself as well. So like reading this like that, um, I am grateful that I created a YouTube video that is interesting and engaging. You know, saying that increases your energy. Another tip as well, if a manifestation comes true, so you're scrolling back through all your pages, all your journals, and you're like, oh my God, that actually happened to me. Uh, mark the page just so I can see where my manifestations have come true and again it will increase your energy <laughs> the best part about manifestation and stuff is you don't have to be thinking about it 24 7 you're supposed to let it into the universe let them know that that's what you want that's your high vibration that's going to make you happy now you're just going to put your journal away until the next day and forget about it go on about your day and the whole thing with this is about living in the now. So living in the now is really just all about um, forgetting about your past, forgetting about your future, and living in the now to now moments in your life so that you can increase your energy in those moments and appreciate and be grateful for the life that you currently have. Because by being grateful for the life you currently have, you're giving the universe an opportunity to see that increased vibration in those moments and bring about manifestations because it will see that high energy and bring more of it towards you. It goes without saying though, if you were trying to manifest something like weight loss, which is something I always try to do, if you are not doing the work to actually lose the weight, you will not manifest it. It is not magic, guys. It's just common sense that if you are not doing the work towards some of your, these goals uh, that require work, then you're not going to get them. Same goes, so I'm here writing about like, I'm going to manifest this YouTube video to be successful, but then I don't make a YouTube video. So, you know, obviously everything in moderation. So, you know, you're not just totally forgetting about it. If you need to put in a bit of work, put in the work, but don't sit there totally focused on the future. If you are totally focused on the views and the subscribers for the manifestation I was doing there, then you're never actually going to manifest anything because you're in a constant want uh, mindset mindset instead of a constant I have so you know if you have something already you're not spending your whole time thinking about it you're actually just going about your life day to day and living it because you have it already you've gone through the motions and you're just living your life now so you gotta let it go and just live in the now I hope everyone got some good advice if you have any other questions or queries or you want me to do um, a longer video on this leave a comment down below and let me know and I have no problem doing that or answering any of your questions thanks so much for watching everyone Bye!